Hello. Good morning. So this morning I was thinking about a conversation or a series maybe of conversations that I had with a client uh, some years ago, five, six, seven years ago. And we were talking about the, um, what I call the, the drama triangle or the victim villain hero triangle where people see themselves in every interaction or most interactions as either the victim the villain or the hero and they see other people in those roles as well and uh the teaching and this this is part if you're if you've been working in ending codependency or something like that this this sort of idea is very much part of that it's genius it's a genius way of looking at it and in this moment i can't remember who came up with this um sort of unmask this that this this triangle this i'm either the victim i'm the villain i'm the hero and you are also one of those and you know everybody has a role is completely fabricated it's completely made up in our minds it's it's actually not true and we can choose to be on the triangle or not on the triangle so that these roles exist or that they don't exist so uh, i was t talking to this client about uh this teaching this perspective it's part of psychotherapy a lot of times and uh she's look i showed it to her you know as a as a picture and she said um she said oh my gosh <laughs> my whole life has been on that triangle and you know she you know, she went into talking about her mother or father and how she is now at, with people at work and that kind of thing and she goes and she just was like oh, amazed <laughs> by this idea that she didn't actually have to play the game of being one of those people like somebody was always like had the upper hand or she had to have the upper hand like this whole sense of needing to control a situation she was like wow and so so we met the next week and um she said i've really been thinking about this and and i realized like if i step off this triangle who will I be? <laughs> People will not know what to do with me. I will be a completely different person. And, and, and I said, well, would you, would you enjoy that? Would you enjoy not living on the triangle? Would that be freedom for you? <laughs> she said, well, yeah. <laughs> and I said, well, okay. So then what holds you back? Why, why even worry if people won't recognize you anymore? Um, you know, she was like, who will I be? She was worried about losing her identity that was so um, identified with being a role on that triangle. So we, we continued to work together. It was a one-on-one -on -one situation. Uh, and the reason I'm sharing this with you now, and the reason I think this whole memory of this person, the sun is coming out, uh, came to be, um, I think it's because I'm starting again my women's circle, my evolutionary women's circle. Uh, and in this group, we work, uh, we play with, we, we investigate what it's like to not only live off of the triangle, to the pull that curtain back and see that that's not really, uh, it's not inevitable that we have to live that way. But we're there in support of each other. We hear each other, we witness each other hold space and I'll, we, I can talk more about what that even means because that's sort of an elusive phrase. Uh, but if you are someone who is interested in that, in living in, in a way that's free from those roles, but also you're perhaps like you've been playing around in different spiritual teachings or um, just common sense points of view of living and looking at the world and it seems really difficult to do or like this idea of living your best life every day living in joy um, knowing that there's nothing outside of me that could make me any happier than I am right now <laughs> if if you then have the thought like who am I to be happy who am I to have joy in my life every day and then the story could go on because there's so much suffering in the world or da 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 then this this little group could be for you um and if you're a man you we can work independently uh together i mean you know one-on-one -on -one together but the group is for women but if that's something that resonates with you that you would like to 
be in a community of women who are choosing that and who want to navigate uh, living in that way, then please reach out to me and let's see if it's a good fit for you to join our circle that starts in September, September 10th, I believe. And we run through April. We go about twice a month here or there. And it's a lovely group. We had a very much fun and very much growth last uh, winter, spring that we did this. I'm looking forward to doing it again. Hope you'll join. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you now what was what was causing, where I got in the shade of. This is the cathedral in Cove, St. Coleman's. Um, this beautiful place where I'm living for a bit. It's gorgeous, gorgeous day in Ireland, Southern Ireland. <laughs> um, we're happy, happy about that. Uh, but of course we don't need that to be happy. It was raining actually 10 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago. Okay, much love, ciao.